Hi guys! I'm Madeline Harvey. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Does your voice ever feel shy? Do you ever feel like a deep anxiety when it comes to singing in front of other people? Would you like to transform your shy voice into one that's confident? So we're going to talk about that in today's video. We're going to go straight into the heart of confidence and learn all about who we are and what only we can bring to the table. So if you liked today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or click that subscribe button below. I would love to see you here more often. The video that you're about to see was taken as a clip from a live lesson that was shot earlier today. If you'd like to watch the entire live, which is about an hour in length, then I invite you to click that join button below and become a member of this channel. As a member, you'll have exclusive access to all of our lives that we do every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So again, just click that join button. It's only $4.99 a month and your contribution helps to support our channel. That way we can continue to deliver awesome content for you. You ready to get started? Here we go. Hi everyone! Happy Monday! I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend and that your week is off to a fantastic start. Uh, like most of our lives, we, we often begin with an awesome topic. Um, this one actually came from a student of mine who considers herself very shy. So she asked me how she could create a little bit more confidence. And I thought it was just such a wonderful question that I thought I would bring this in and see what you guys think. Can you make a shy voice confident? What do you guys think? While you're thinking on that, I just want to say, if anyone is new here to our lives, welcome, welcome, welcome. We do these lives every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. So that's Nashville, Tennessee time. Um, we're very hopeful that you'll be able to join us. We talk about anything that's on our mind as it relates to our experience of our voices, and we are so happy to have you with us. Um, I also want to let you guys know that we have shot our endurance for Skillshare. It's increase your vocal endurance. So we're going to be editing them and we're going to be posting them. So keep a lookout for that over the next couple of days. And we will probably talk something vocal endurance on Thursday's live. So we hope to see you then. So cool. Very cool. Confidence, shyness, confidence. Can you make a shy person confident? I really can't wait to see what you guys think about this one. And I will say, oh, <laughs> Anira says Madeline's outfits are always so good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I want to come back to that for just a second. It depends on what you mean by confidence. That's such a trick word, tricky trick, trick word. And so is shy. Shy is also a tricky word. It seems to be that shyness is more of like a judgment. So our objective today in today's live, although we will talk about the what to do's like technically, I wanted to get a little bit deeper because you could say, you know, if you if you want to be confident, like stand with your shoulders tall and and sing really loud. It's like, have you ever seen someone do that? That is like legitimately so uncomfortable. It only adds to the discomfort. <laughs> if you see someone who's terrified, but their body is open and they're forcing their voice to be all loud, it just makes us all so very, so very more nervous. So I want to get and I just want to see I want to see if we can talk this one out and come to some sort of maybe spectrum about confidence that allows for someone's authenticity to reveal itself. So that's why I said it depends on what you mean by confidence. It really depends on what you mean by confidence. Because who, if you're the singer, who is the one that defines the confidence? Is it the audience 
Well, that's dangerous because you've just allowed them to tell you who you are, if they think you are confident or not. Or is it you that define what confidence is? So let's see if we can be as precise as we can with this. How would you guys define confidence? Like, let's, let's be as precise as we possibly can. Remember, like a phoenix says, having taken personal lessons and subscription lessons with you for almost a year, yay, my confidence has definitely grown and I am and was very shy. Oh, is that right? Is that right? Um, yeah, well, yeah, I wanna, I wanna define shyness too, but um, confidence, let's see if we can define it. My favorite, and I, you know, do you ever come across memes or like quotes and you're like, ah, I thought I was the first one to think of that. <laughs> I thought I was the first one to think, but uh, I remember coming across a, a Maya Angelou quote and she said like success is liking who you are, liking what you do and liking how you do it, period. And at the time in my life, I had just learned that. So I really thought I was all original with that, aha, with that epiphany. But when I saw, you know, her quote, I was like, yeah, there must be something that's just true. Truths have a way of doing that, of like sort of bubbling up to the surface. But uh, Molly says, I know I thought I was shy, but corrected by my therapist was told that I'm an introvert. Let's talk on that. I'll get right back to that in just a second. I do think that we can make a generality out of confidence and go, you know what? It's it let's let's make it specific but personal. Like it's a personal experience. Liking who you are, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. Does that sound good? Does that sound like something that's just true? So that, you know, if let's say you're an introvert like Molly and you go out onto a stage and you're gonna sing, that you don't have to be all what everyone else thinks confidence is. You don't have to be all loud and in everybody else's face. You could just take your whole self onto the stage and like who you are, like what you do, and like how you do it, and share that with them, and that could still translate as confidence. Can we kind of agree that that's true? I'll wait. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think we can. I think we can. And we'll, and we'll jump off from that. Oh, okay. I'm like scared of what they're thinking about my voice, comfortable with yourself and being able to accept, move past mistakes that are made. Yeah, I think, I think that's just really true. If we can just bring some of that presence onto the stage, I don't think it needs to be a little bit, I don't think it needs to be more complicated than that because there's certain realities. We have the reality of our physical body. Now that comes with it, limitations. And it's not meant to be all poo poo on the party. It's meant to be like, what can you make with that? There's something in a limitation that causes us to, to be creative. If we were all limitless, there would be really no creativity because we'd all be kind of like all everything. But there's something with limitation that makes us have to make choices and that choice making is what creativity is but I kind of jumped off of it for just a second. Uh, the reason I wanted to bring up like who you are and physical limitations, we've got physical limitations on our bodies. That means our voices can do certain things, but they cannot do everything. Amen? <laughs> they shouldn't have to do everything. You shouldn't have to do everything. So let me just take that pressure off of you right away. You don't gotta do everything. You have to specialize, and that's a good thing. That's a really, really good thing. When you listen to some of your favorite artists, their voices are not always all over the place. That would be overwhelming. That would be overwhelming. Most of the time, artists who build long-lasting careers or who have legitimate fan bases, meaning that they're not gimmicky, they have legitimate fan bases, they, they accept the fact that they're a limited person and they make of that what they will. So there's limitations in our bodies and there's also limitations to our personalities. 
And that's why I said it depends on what you think shyness is, and it depends on what you think confidence is. Um, I'm also, like Molly, I am an introvert, which means that I am good one-on-one -on -one and with small groups, but with big, big groups, I get a little overwhelmed. I'm, I'm okay for a few hours, but then I get really tired. It kind of wears me out a little bit. Uh, but where that means like vocally is it means that my experience of the voice matters more to me as an introvert than I need it to matter to everybody else. I'm not shy because I think shyness is a social anxiety, which is fine if, if some people are shy. I have some very shy family members. Um, but I, I don't think that it's like, let me see if I can be clearer on this. I remember taking one of those Briggs Myers tests when I was in high school and the guidance counselor, cause I ended up being an INFJ <laughs> and I wanted to be, I wanted to do performance. And the first thing that she said to me was, oof, you got to overcome this introverted thing. If you want to do that, you've got to overcome being an introvert. So I spent the next many, many, many years trying to overcome the, the limits of my personality. And I found that I actually couldn't, I couldn't, I wasn't shy, but I was not super extroverted. I tried, but I wasn't. So if you're, if we're really going to get down to the nitty gritty of what confidence is, we've got to take stock on ourselves. Like, what are the limits of our bodies? If we have nice, fluty, fluty voices, and when we attempt to, to go big and loud, we actually end up hurting ourselves, then we're not working within a strength. We can develop certain things, but we've got to kind of zero in on what are our strengths? What are we bringing to the table? Because that's going to let you know, liking who you are, liking what you do, and liking how you do it. So we've got to accept certain parts of ourselves. They're not meant to be like, oh, I can never do this because I'm introvert. It's like, nope, that's, that's not true. But you may have to do it differently. You just may have to do it differently. And that means that you say what confidence is. You take stock of who you are. You take stock of kind of liking what you do. Okay, so let's do what you do. Because no one else can do it quite like you can that can really set people into to feeling like you're, you're confident. There's something about what you do that's just different because you do it. No one else does it. Okay. So limitations on our bodies, limitations on our personalities, and being the ones that set that. Okay. You got to be as honest as you possibly can in terms of like, who you're who you are you got to manage yourself i i have tried as i'm sure like a lot of a lot of you guys have and i'd love to hear about your experiences i tried to overcome the introversion now i'm, I'm again i'm not i'm not scared of people <laughs> i'm not scared of people i'm more disagreeable than i am agreeable but i do get a little all right all right i've had enough i've got to go off into my own little corner and like pet my dog for a while and just be left alone like but knowing that i also know that i spend most of my time in my imagination that's a total introverted thing spend most of my time in my imagination so i really enjoy songwriting strength that's a major strength i enjoy specific kinds of stories when i write songs strength and it comes from the personality so let's see if we can do this now